welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing something different. We switched it up. We're not in the studio. Why are we not in the studio? Because we're know. going to four non-boycotted restaurants. Yeah. Time out for you guys. Non-boycotted. Exactly. Free Palestine, Boycott guys. They are not supported by Is Not Real. Let's see you there. We'll be going to four non-boycotted restaurants around London. One in South, West, North and East to share with you big flavours without spending at big corporations. We've got something for everyone in this. Whoa! Guys, it's been treacherous and do you know why? Because we've got on our way to South London. Guys, <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah>, that's <laughs> why. We're heading to another country, guys, never been before. Oh my God, it's You know, so it's bumpy. full of wild people, it's full of wild things, and we're going to be there to test yeah. Barnhead. The weather's probably different out there, guys. People are different. I've Everyone's had a dream in there. Sarah, aka Bunhead, and her friend Georgia are smashing the bun game to bits. Located in Herne Hill next to Brockwell Park, you better be an early riser if you plan on getting your treats from here. They sell out by 12.30 every day. From a lockdown baby as Bunhead Bakes, their brick and mortar store is notorious in the area and the pair are definitely local legends. Bunhead Bakery. I'm yeah. here with Sarah and Georgia. Say hi, guys. Amazing. So, we're going to kick it off. Tell us about the history of Bunhead Bakery. I started Bunhead in 2020 in lockdown. Was doing it like part time in between jobs and then took it full time in October 2021. But well, there's not much of a exciting story around. It was literally, I made a bun mm -hmm. and, my sister, and my sister was like, you should sell these. And I was like, okay, I'll do that. But in terms of the, the flavours, it's just these, I'm half Palestinian, so these are just flavours that I grew up with. It's always just been a way of connecting myself and other people to the flames of Palestine. I was doing it all from home through all this time. Knew that I needed to like make the next step and I didn't know what the next step was. So then I knew that eventually I always wanted to like open a bakery. And Georgia, my, one of my best friends, was between jobs. I was working at a copper shop last year, just down the road while I was in between jobs. I really liked it and Sarah was like questioning me about it one day and she said, so what do you like about it? Da -da -da. Then she's like, do you want a bakery in me? And I was like, so what that's so funny. <laughs> so, nice. so what can you tell us about the bun that we're going to try today? There's lots of buns for you to try today. What do we have in front of us? Walk us through it. These two are cinnamon buns. We've got two baklava buns here. A mint lemonade bun. So it's like on the mint lemon. That sounds so Ooh. good. Sorry. Then this is a spice bun. So they've got like uh, ani aniseed and cinnamon and cardamom. And then these are both savoury. So this is the Yusakin bun. I was talking about. And a Zaf S chili bun. I'm specifically excited for the savoury bun. It's a good day. Savoury bun is a good day. What should we taste first? Go with the cinnamon. And yeah. It's the I love the bite channels. Well, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> you got a spring in a set. Oh, that's spring. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Okay. No, I get I can see by the side of it. Oh, but it's in. So mm. This is hitting me again. We're off to a good start. I can't lie. So what's next then? I think that's so good. that is mint lemonade. Ooh. I'm, I'm a lemonade girl. I'm excited to try that. Same. I'm excited for me to try that. Yeah, it's the mint lemonade isn't here all the time, it's quite a seasonal bun. I'm with you. Get in. Send more work. <laughs> <laughs> really loves lemon. That's my favourite. It's such a nice like touch. Mm. Yeah. Like the mint is like it tastes oh. like a lemonade. Generally, mm -hmm. yeah. In a bun. Yeah. Lemonade in a bun. Ooh. Okay, then this one is the spice bun. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is a divisive bun because I don't like aniseed without pink brushing. I only like it when it's in like a bun. When it's in but when it's in like a biscuit. So let's see what you think. Oh it looks soft. That is very soft. It looks very soft. If you don't like it, it's okay. No, I get what you mean by licorice sheet. I'm not a licorice fan. That wouldn't be my first pick. Yes. But I like it. I can see why people would like it. Really not? Really not? I need a bite. I know, but I know all the mates. Okay, this is a look. No, that's making it look I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. Second bite. Yeah. But that's what I was These are kind of like, I try to try to kind of like for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I'm somewhere at home. I don't know where it gets grown up. I don't know. My mum would love that. I know she would. Two baklava here. I just took a sneak peek by it. Ready? It's so soft in the middle. Mm. Favourite? Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So it's probably the most common amount for sure. Ice cream. Lena! Get back in the shop, right? It's only five of masaka and just spice, red onion, and pine nuts. Everybody here at home, where they can find you. We're based South London, Herndhill. We'll be at one of our websites, we've got 
merch you can buy in store or a lot of the We Are Palestinian merch is cool. A lot of fundraising that all the profits are going to projects in the West Bank and Gaza. All of the details are going to be in the description below. So check it out, guys. Do it now. Yeah. And please come in here to come and support, guys. The bonds were so good. So good. I'm seeing it again. Yeah, yep. thank you. So good. Goodbye. We are back from a Bunhead Bakery. As you can see, we're merched out. Genuinely, <laughs> guys. <laughs> it was so good. The buns, I genuinely, I'm, I'm shocked, guys. I'll go, you know. I'm, I'm so shocked. I'm full. Pull out the whole thing. Genuinely, if you guys off. are planning to go, though, just be prepared. Like, come early. The 8 a.m. early, guys. They sell out instantly, and there's queues. My department is ready. finished. It's yeah. closed. And also expect to be in a queue. Like, expect yeah. to actually earn your but bun. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. The buns are actually ten out of ten. Mm. But yeah, yeah, see all the, the people that actually struggle to breathe when they get tickled. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Okay, wait. Just give me a moment. Consent. Oh, well, like consent. You told me to tickle okay, me. Okay, go. go. No, I haven't oh, touched you yet. Yeah, that's sick. No, no, I'm, I'm too much. You have a sign. You have a sign, Wally. Look, I did this. Put your arm up. Come on. I mean, I'm ticklish. I can't just give it to you. Oh. <laughs> Listen, to everyone who's ticklish here, yeah, you lot are ways. That's what I want to say. How are you getting affected by a little light touch? Oh, you can't breathe. <laughs> by a little light touch? Crazy. Who can't breathe now? Yeah. Yeah. Can't breathe you can't now. breathe now. Who can't, can't breathe now? now? Yeah. <laughs> On to the next location, guys. And we are going to West London. So catch us there. Tucked away on a little side road of Notting Hill, a community known for inhabiting the cultural diaspora of London, this Palestinian paradise is a must for any foodies. Chef Fadi blends Britain's finest seasonal produce and contemporary culinary techniques with age-old Palestinian recipes. And the interior is almost as amazing as the food. West London. I'm in Notting Hill. And we're at a cube. Yes, and we are here with the lovely owner of a cube. How did you land, by the way? So we teleported from it's South different. London to West London. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We started January of last year. The co-founder with me, Rasha Khouri, and I thought of how do we get Palestine to them? Well, how do we tell the story of Palestine? And our cube made sense, telling the story of Palestine through food, telling the story of Palestine through the fantastic artisans we work with. Yeah. So we do import all of our dried goods, from Palestine. Everything that's on the menu that's fresh is local. We have maftoul, frika, olive oil, tania, etc. All of those do come from Palestine. What experience do you want your customers to like, take away? We cook for everybody. That door is open for guests. Top top. Whatever they are. Yeah, wherever that. they are. Yeah. Wherever they come from. If you are familiar with Palestine, then what you're finding here is my interpretation of Palestinian yeah. flavor. If you're not familiar with Palestine, then it's an introduction to Palestine. Run. I don't sacrifice taste. Right. The only thing I do is I source local. And when I source locally, it means I will adapt to vegetables and fruits that, or herbs that are local. So would you say flavor is more important than the base ingredient? Flavor, character, right. and most importantly, it's the tradition. Yeah, it's the tradition of making something. It's what I inherited from my grandmother. We should get in and get tasted. in. Will you allow me to order for you? Of yes. course. Cool. Whatever you think is happy, great. yeah. We have our batik salad. Batik is watermelon. Watermelon. 1967 onwards, we were not allowed to carry our flag. By yeah. Yeah. Our Palestinian artists started using the watermelon because of the colors of the flag. Maftoul right there is handled wheat grains that are done just yeah, they're made in, in Jenin, uh, or just outside Jenin, in the north of the West Bank. There's two flavors that we don't use in the rest of Palestine, except Gaza, and it's chili and dill. This is a bit the national dish in Palestine, it's musakha. Usually, bread, onion, chicken, a lot of sumac and a lot of olive oil, because it's made to celebrate that new olive oil. That is my version. Oh, it's got chicken Why does it, it has the chicken, the onions, and the sumac are inside wow. with a lot of olive oil. Yeah, and I'm going to try not making a mess. But <laughs> I will make a mess. Oh my god, it it's not amazing. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> Give it one. He said, I'm big. Thank you so much. Where do I start? Get in my belly. Okay, okay let me try get the watermelon first. Yeah, watermelon standard. Come on, this is that. Mm. Fresh. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. So it's like chili. Mm. Oh my god. So you're coming home with me? It's like soft and like it pulls, like the chicken and Oh my like god. god. I'm, I'm in awe. Wow. I'm in awe. Take a break. We used to try the prawns. Thank you. 
Nope. Oh my god, it's massive. I'm still eating this, love. You? I'm eating my belly right now. Wow, well, bang him. <laughs> Looks so flaky as well. Wow. Explosion in your mouth, yes. You can put that in that sauce, whatever that sauce is. Well, I, I didn't think I'd like fish like this. Wow. That? Not that cool. Yeah. Wow. Really, the sauce is banging out, right? Wow. I need a break to just think about the food I'm eating. Wow. I'm not listening to anything. I'm enjoying like 10 out of 10 everything I've tried. It's the greatest day of my life. One thing I love, lemon. What's in this? Lemon. However. Amazing. Honestly, so I don't know good. what to pick is my other favourite. Like yeah, 10, 10, 10, 10 out of 10. Well, I was busy. I'm going to be here every week. Yeah. I'm happy you enjoyed it, yeah. but you're not done yet. Oh. There's a oh bit of our desserts. You're spoiling us, Fadi, you're spoiling us. us. Ah. Uh, so I that's did. our ice cream. <laughs> one is Zatar, one is Tamir. Oh, they're all different. And one is Mistaka. Oh. So it's Strawberry um, yeah. Farawla dessert okay. with some mac and peppercorns. And that's the Baba with Tani. Wow. Enjoy. Guys, we're on to our third location. As you can tell, energy is low. We need a pickup. And the pickup. Pick me be... up. The pick me up. Who wants to pick the... me up then? I can't let that fire, bro. Pick me up. This is volcano. Rock, this is tsunami. tsunami. Oh, you didn't let me finish, though. I was gonna come with a tsunami, innit? No. Yeah, copycat, copycat, copycat. I'm gonna tickle you, dude. Tickle this girl. Tickle this girl. I'm tickle this heart. Biggie fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Take it <laughs> She is a double single. <laughs> DFM. All right, guys. So we're going to northwest of London, our north hometown. Of London. Northwest of London, and we're gonna go visit Cafe Palestina. So catch us there. Rafif started Cafe Palestina as a social enterprise in 2017 to support Camden-based human rights charity CADFA, Camden Abu Dis Friendship Association. They are way more than just a cafe, housing exhibitions, events, and even a small library for people to learn more about Palestine. Looking for a place to take Arabic lessons? They do that too. Tell us about Cafe Palestina and about yourself, actually. So Cafe Palestina was born about seven years ago. And it's gone so, so fast, yeah. learned so much. A lot of charity stuff going on because we're a social enterprise and we're linked to a charity. Okay. Quite a few events actually, music, poetry, art exhibitions. So it's not just a cafe, like people can come here and read, learn about the history, learn about, maybe even buy stuff. Is this stuff all for sale as well? Yes, this is our shop. We've got loads more all in the front as well. This place was all about raising awareness of Palestine and being proud of being Palestinian and also celebrate the artwork, the music, to sort of let people know that Palestine has a nice culture as well. They can, you know, be yeah. fun stuff sometimes and community stuff. There's a nice old city over there as well. So what sort of like experience do you want your customers to take away? Arabic culture is a lot about hospitality. Like if I went out to lunch or if I was some in a place, how would I want to be treated in anything like that? Yeah, of course. Treat people. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the aspects. And if they can learn a bit about the culture as well. And we also have Arabic lessons. The oh, way wow. Oh, and like a full round, not just cafe, they're just like, yeah, they need to sell our rounds. Yeah, so much from yeah. here and then. Yeah. The situation in Palestine is bringing awareness to itself, tragically, you know, yeah. and I'm, but again, to celebrate the nice aspects of the culture and not just have the media sort of impression of the whole of the Middle East and the third world, which is just the people of men running around the street. Yeah. yeah. Like, or soft area garden as well. And like always violence and never like the 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 politics yeah, yeah, yeah. or the yeah. women or anything yeah, else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why Palestinian? We thought it was now inclusive, like sounded more like the way that you say Palestine in lots of different countries. So like Spanish, Italian, like as if the Italian connotation of cafe and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just to sort of include all these different cultures. <laughs> or in the description below. Okay. Too damn bad. Yeah. There. This is pretty good. And the pommes. It's good. Let's go. Mmm. Yeah, that's top tier pommes right there. I can't know. Mm. No one little job. Cheesy pastry. This is good. Trust me. Trust me. Get a bit of that salad. It's lemon and like the onions in it. Oh my god. Good. That is banging. Mm. And we'll start remixing a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, gone. We are visiting Five Bros. 
with my bros, and there's five of them. Plus, wait, stop. you were going to five bros with my bros in the go with the hay. No, I don't want to see no bros and five bros. If you're bringing five bros, go home. Yeah, where five ladies coming in? Thank you very much. Five ladies and five bros. What? Midge, a family man in East London, is doing his thing with these wings and much more. Opening in 2017, Mitch has perfected his sauces and his burgers, at a price point better than any major fast food chain, will make you regret all the money you've spent elsewhere. The juicy succulent chicken and beef will make you trek from your ends to east. Fast food with long love. We opened 2019. Alhamdulillah, it was good. Then Corona hit. We was dead for a couple of months, and all of a sudden, it's just bang. The sentiment behind five bros is uh, I got five rappers. Hey. It's not because of five guys, you know. I've had the litigation with uh, five guys as well. They, yeah. tried to, they tried to sue me because oh. I managed to uh, trademark my name. Since you owe every Ramadan, you do charity events. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's um, you know uh, Burma, whether it's in Palestine, and at least we can do with both of them for us. Everything is binding. So whatever you choose, whatever you want, if you want me to recommend you something, I could recommend you something. Wings are probably the best you, you've tried. Honestly, the flavours are different. Completely different. What do you know you different that makes yours up there? I can't be telling you that. Oh, my but my flavours, my flavours, when you taste the flavours, you realise, yo, this is fun. Fingers tired. Taste the flavours. Yeah. By the way, I just want to say, you said that whoever gets the highest score gets five bros for life. Twist your waist, yeah. violently. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm gonna go first because okay. I know I'm not ready and I'm just feeling hyped I'm up full and I have someone broke off. Seven hundred! Oh. 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 Four seven? You thought you were gonna get three hundred? Three hundred! Come on, Aisha. I'm left I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. Aisha, one hundred! Two hundred. Aisha, get out of the shop and do it. It's all right. That's all right. You got this. I'm, I'm, I'm acting bad. I'm gonna get two hundred. You got this. <laughs> uh, oh, that didn't hurt at all. Yeah, yeah. Five hundred. Come on, cheeky five hundred. Oh my god, I got nine hundred. Yeah. I got nine hundred, guys. Oh, oh my god, goodness. goodness! It's a whole plot. Oh, that's what he's like. No, I'm so excited. <laughs> Smoky, to love a bit of spice. Yeah, yeah. This one's the one to watch out for. American, <laughs> very nice. Buffalo, buffalo. Okay. So the safe one is like this one and that one. So have this a last, so it doesn't really your taste. Yeah. Then, yeah. mm. it's sweet and spicy. I love that. Oh, it's spicy. I'm not going to spicy. It's not 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 spicy. It's I don't yeah. we, don't, we don't put in the, uh, like? the syrup and all that stuff. Um, no artificial flavors. Yeah. Mm. Buffalo, you lied about the spice. I'm just waiting my hands. Look at this one, my trump. I'm actually crying. We'll light the spice. What? what is that? There's okay. so much flavor. I literally went in for a second bite because it tastes so good. Well, guys, I'm sorry. We, we have a rush. Have burger. Have rush. <coughs> guys, wow. Genuinely. Really? One of the best burgers I've had. Oh, like, wow. Very oh. saucy, so soft. The meat is like bare turned on. That's that original smash burger. Bang him. That original. Wow, that is actually so good. Wow. Now that one's good, I can't that. Right? Mm. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, yeah that, that sauce Wait, on the fry is great. These wings, I can eat a whole black. I can eat a whole black. They're very saucy and there's still a lot and of chicken on it. Like, yeah, it's, there's a lot of meat yeah. on the bone. You don't find any wings a lot. Like, yeah. 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 The wings got <laughs> your touch and pad, literally. <laughs> Genuinely, yeah. This one's uh, called the American Dream, this one. Mm. I like that better than the mango already. Have you tasted anything like this? Baby? I don't think that is. Wait, no, I can't tell what that is. I like this, but I love that. You like the mango? I, I, mango. Mango. Mango I, I, got got the mango. I love this one. You know what's crazy is the practical yeah. actually so good. Yeah. so good, yeah. Like, it's like high end food. Profit. Like, mm. I would pay good money for this, yeah. genuinely. Yeah. This is a chicken burger, yeah? Yeah, this is a uh, chicken burger. And this one? Well, I'm beef chicken. This is a uh, spicy. Oh, they were all the same. Spicy. Not that spicy. I don't mind spice. I love a bit of spice. Cool. I would go miles for this place. Like yeah. genuinely. Is that good guy? Come to West. I'm not gonna lie. Cause oh. West doesn't have much. So this mm. one thrive in West. We, as you can see, have demolished this lunch. So good. Or we'll we take more hope. I don't ask questions. So where can people find you? East London, Bethnal Green, one six five Blow Road, E two zero L J.
social. We've got uh, TikTok is Five Bros Food. <laughs> Instagram is Five Bros. Do you food know as what? Well. It'll be linked right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's the end of the video. Peace. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.